Now this little elf, on the other hand, is pretty confident about the situation. A better term would be arrogant. Look at him stick out his tongue all arrogantly. I guess he's done this kissing thing before. If you look closely at his tongue, you can see he has a bunch of white hairs on the sides of it. Super gross. Anyways, this represents oral hairy leukoplakia. Oral hairy leukoplakia occurs on the lateral tongue and is not scrapable. Sometimes this can be confused with oral candidiasis, but thankfully you can easily distinguish between these two conditions based on whether or not it can be scraped off. Candidiasis can be scraped off, while oral hairy leukoplakia cannot be scraped off. And some students find it difficult to remember which of these conditions can be scraped off and which one cannot be. I like to remember that oral hairy leukoplakia cannot be scraped off. And I do this just by thinking, if hairs were growing off my tongue, could I scrape them off? Nope, you don't just scrub hairs off. However, if you have candida growing on your tongue, you could scrape that off. Now, I want to point out that oral hairy leukoplakia is actually not hair at all. It just has a weird appearance that kind of resembles hair, which gives it that name. So again, tongue with hairs on the side stands for oral hairy leukoplakia. Now let's focus again on this kissing tyrant. Notice how her hair curls behind her ear and on her neck. This draws attention to the fact that EBV infections often cause posterior auricular lymphadenopathy, or LAD, behind the ear. It also causes cervical lymphadenopathy. So again, hair curling behind the ears and on the neck for posterior auricular and cervical lymphadenopathy. Now this girl also has this gaudy cane with a gem on the top of it. Look at the size of that rock. Well, that ornament has an icosahedral shape to it. This represents the icosahedral shape of the EBV capsid. So icosahedral gem for icosahedral capsid. Now look at this guy with a band-aid on his cheek. He is sort of like this girl's lackey and holds up a sign that tells everyone in line how many kisses are left. Right now, it reads, less than 500 kisses remaining. The band-aid represents AIDS, and what's written on the sign represents the fact that oral hairy leukoplakia only occurs when the CD4 T-cell count gets below 500. So the point is that EBV infections do not cause oral hairy leukoplakia unless the CD4 count is below 500. If you have ever known someone who got this kissing disease, none of them had white plaques on the sides of their tongue, right? That's because they didn't have CD4 counts below 500. They didn't have AIDS. So again, the sign saying less than 500 kisses left stands for CD4 counts below 500. Now there's an old elf up here in the tower. He's in charge of the whole Elves Blue Village, and he makes sure things are going well. But he's kind of pervy and just watches the kissing booth all day. Look at those ribbons dangling from his lookout tower. These two ribbons represent the fact that EBV is a double-stranded DNA virus. So two parallel ribbons for double-stranded DNA virus. 